Hi everybody, it's Julia here and I am back with a new process video using the Take Me Away paper pad. This time I'm going to make a layout and um, I have a photo and it's quite a lot of red on it because uh, the puppy she is laying on a red pillow. So I thought I wanted to use that red flowery paper, you see this one, but when I laid it on top it sort of was too much so then I decided to put this paper, the sort of looks like embroidery flowers on top of it and uh, I have to be honest, I didn't think I was going to use that paper. I think it's really hard, but I think it really worked out. So <laughs> I'm bringing out my little box here with all of the cutouts that I've made from the paper pad and also the, uh, the stuff that I've printed out and then cut up. So what I'm going to start with is what I'm wanting to do is make sort of like a a cluster or lots of layers around the photo and then have the rest of the page a bit more simple because I have that flower it takes up some weight and then I have quite a lot of journaling you can see here and I've just written that on some uh, vellum. I actually started typewriting it on my typewriter and it gave out. I don't know. I'm a bit, uh, <laughs> I have to say, a bit nervous about that. Um, I haven't dared checking it out and see if I can fix it. I was so frustrated. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what will happen to the typewriter. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I am adding some paper, I'm adding some, this is tissue paper by Tim Holtz, and it has sort of the same effect of vellum, but it's not as expensive as vellum. And then um, I have not sort of experimented with it enough. Um, because I haven't had it for that long and I haven't been home that much. But I think um, you can sort of collage it, which means it sort of should take wet medium. So I'm really interested to see if you can like paint over it or spray it or stuff like that. Um, I have stamped on it in my previous video where I showed the TN insert um, made sort of to a al mini album. I have a page. Um, with using this tissue paper and sort of stamping uh, all over it and that took really well and it dried and everything so yeah I'm really excited about that. <laughs> uh, while I've been shattering about um, the layout have continued so I've put down my cluster or my photo and I've also put down the title and this page sort of have two titles. I really wanted this wild heart I thought it was so pretty and it's one of those um, things I would definitely hoard, but I decided that this little puppy, she deserved the pretty wild heart. So I put that on, and also using three of the hearts to sort of tie in the gold. Um, so yeah, uh, I do have one other thing that is not from the paper pad here, and that is, you can see that acetate uh, has some leaves, and I use that. That is the last piece from the acetate when I got the Take Me Away and I have hoarded it and I decided I'm going to use it. Uh, so now I'm adding some enamel dots. These are in green and I really like that but the way the page sort of turns after this, um, when I came to sort of photograph it, it, it really bothered me so I switched them out. So on the photos I have switched them out for a more of a, a ready peachy uh, color that matches with the page. So that comes later. Uh, so I'm adding here some phrase stickers from Tim Holtz um, just to have, I sort of felt they went really well and I really wanted to have that typewriter font <laughs> even if my couldn't do that. So I'm adding the date and I'm adding it twice so I'm adding the date where I have written the journaling or the day I actually make the process video and then uh, when, when the photo was taken just because I really I wanted to suppose and then I felt like it's empty I need something more so I went back to that paper I really wanted to use as a background and I decided well I can still use it so I started fussy catching those flowers and they're really pretty and they're quite small <laughs> and it took quite some time but it made a huge difference I have to say so I'm really happy I did it uh, but yeah it took some time and um, I was very selective with the flowers, so I only put, I took like the biggest ones, uh, so yeah. So here I decided to glue them down, but I'm like, nope, foam dot. <laughs> I 
hardly ever use foam, but now the latest, uh, I've been putting them more and more on, so yay me! Uh, that flower is actually from one of the papers that I started with layering, that is, have flowers on the dark background. Um, so yeah, oh, you can hear the real dogs, <laughs> the real dogs, dogs in real life. Um, so I decided to add in some more flowers just to sort of soften it and I really, really like how these flowers add that softness to the page. Uh, yeah, I haven't told you what the page is actually about. Um, so for those who don't know, my parents have a kennel and um, this year we have one litter of puppies and they were seven of them and um, uh, so if you saw my previous video, that album was all about those eight weeks. So in Sweden we have the puppies for until they're eight weeks and then they go to their to their real homes, really. Uh, but Frigg here, she stayed uh, an extra ten days because, you know, that's how it is. Uh, the first time we had puppies was the little dad Viola was thin. Um, there were two puppies who stayed for one and then three extra weeks I think and that was that was rough I mean <laughs> yeah when they are eight weeks they are like they are so full of it like yeah they are amazing but yeah they it's a lot of work so uh, the last thing I'm going to do is adding that uh, sort of peachy reddish washi tape and here you can see I've switched out the enamel dots um, so yeah, here you have a page done with pretty much only the Take Me Away paper pad. Uh, I've added some embellishments, but on the whole, it is the paper pad. I'm really liking how it looks. I really like this sort of ready orangey color and the softness of the flowers. And I'm really happy I used that paper as a background. It was really fun. I think it really adds something to the page. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked this process video and uh, I hope you have a really great day.